Nike. We're over here at Next Gen Fitness over here in Addison, Texas. We just finished doing a little bit of shoulder work today. Uh, basically just did some movements, just get some blood. Pretty much popped up in the shoulder that we're trying to work today. Uh, considering I work out twice a day now, uh, usually whenever I do my second workout of the day, it's usually emphasizing something that I'm trying to just keep a little bit of blood flow in there. Basically those body parts are my back, my chest, hamstring, quad. So uh, taking advantage of every time that I have this year pretty much. And it's, it's, it's paid off as well too, considering the fact that I actually have the time and the schedule to work out twice a day now. And uh, allows me to get my cardio in the morning, go back in the evening, work out, do a little bit more cardio. So uh, I like it like that a lot better. Uh, take some of the stress off as far as having to push everything into the day. So um, it's made a big difference. So this year actually has been, I would say probably one of the smoothest preps. Uh, last year was a smooth prep as well too. And uh, this year, probably about six months ago, it was kind of questionable. I had actually broke my hand uh, during the winter time down here. Uh, still me, I fell down the stairs and ended up landing on my hand. Went to the doctor, found out it was broke. So I actually had to take off anywhere for about three or four months. Uh, I still try to do a little bit with my lower body, but it just got to a point to where I said I would just take this time to rest and recuperate. So uh, felt like I lost a little bit, you know, during that time period. Considering I wasn't doing nothing, I was still staying on my diet, of course. But uh, considering that, I feel like this prep I actually grew into the show. So. I didn't, you know, get out of shape, even when my hand was broken and stuff like that. So at that time, I actually made sure I stayed on a clean diet because I didn't want to gain any kind of excess body fat or just really looking any kind of sluggish weight or anything. So I uh, stayed on my diet and actually uh, uh, with this prep, you know, doing all my workouts, getting all my food in, of course, it allowed me, like I said, to grow into the show. And actually, even I felt like it made me... Uh, even you know get a little bit bigger pretty much actually allowed me to bring up some body parts that I want to bring up as well too so we are doing uh, some shoulder work today I just finished doing a side lateral single arm side lateral just now and I actually picked this move up from uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, so I'm used to doing pretty much side laterals just coming straight out, but I just added a small little movement to it. I've noticed it made a big difference. So whenever I come up and uh, instead of just coming straight up, I actually turn it and it gives me more of an impact right there at the top of your shoulder right there pretty much. So uh, I started doing those single arm instead of, you know, I still do both arms at the same time, but when I do single arms, like I said, I don't focus on going super heavy with it because it's actually a movement that doesn't require you to go super heavy. Uh, I like doing it is just get a lot of blood flow in there. And uh, you're really able to concentrate on that muscle pretty much coming in that uh, I know I was missing at one time, but I know since I've been doing these guys, it's made a difference too as well too. So uh, try those out. Like I said, instead of just coming straight out, coming straight out and turn it kind of like a, like you're pouring a glass of water, I guess you could say. So. Try those out and as we go on, you'll see that I'm probably gonna go a little bit heavier just doing side laterals, but not getting my body in it, not swinging my back or anything like that, just coming up and focusing on what I'm working on, which is shoulders today. Just did a movement right now to where I just did a delt movement and uh, I've played around with these guys a lot and usually when it comes to a lot of the movements I do, uh, I do pretty much what I like to call just like hitting the sweet spot, I guess you could say. So, you know, I'll do them coming straight out of course, but I notice whenever I have my pinky up and bring it back and more of an angle instead of just coming straight out that I can oscillate and activate my delt a lot more. So. I've changed that moving up a lot and it's worked better for me so uh, and I still do it pretty much coming out to the side as well too so I just switch it up every single set as well too. I just feel like it's isolating different parts of your shoulder so you know and I feel like that's the way to go about doing things whenever you're doing a lot of different movements, change your hand grip up, change your motion up, you know, make sure you're just isolating the movement and the muscle that you're trying to activate so try that out, say so you like it. 
Thanks. Uh, feeling pretty good about this year, you know. Uh, weights waving around anywhere from 248 to 250. So, you know, I'll still have a little bit of water to draw, of course. Every day is just, you know, just trying to focus on getting harder and harder and harder. And uh, when it's time to, you know, load it back up a little bit, carb up a little bit, then, you know, that's pretty much what we're going to focus on doing as far as that goes, just getting the right carbs in me and uh, don't spill over, but getting full, staying lean, staying as hard, but also staying as full as we can as well too. So uh, make sure you look out for us. Uh, look me up on Facebook, Joseph Mackey. Uh, look me up on Instagram, jmackey33, and uh, we'll be in contact. You know, this is Joe Mackey over here in Dallas, Texas, Next Gen Fitness. Thanks, guys.